Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Midori's Midnight Sessions. Today is a rather special episode, yes. <laughs> to those uh, who don't know you guys, uh, you guys have been, I think you have been requesting me to sing something. And actually, today happened. Today happened to be the first anniversary of the release of something you'll never know. And um, thank you, thank you so much to those who listened. I hope you liked. I hope you liked something you'll never know. That was uh. That was not. I don't think that's really my best work, but it's it's always gonna be special because of how much love I received from you guys, like you amazing bunch of people. Thank you so much for um. Thank you so much for listening continuing to listen to something you'll never know um actually i discovered something really big today um i this is basically the most unexpected thing to ever happen to me and this wasn't even anderson cooper replying to me in 2016 no, um, this was actually one of the most unexpected things that I have ever experienced. Uh, so... <laughs> so... It's probably obvious from my profile picture who my alt is um actually not just in my profile picture my current profile picture but the profile picture and my status um so it says sobokin encore i miss you with crying emotes in korean because that's how they do it um what's the surprise he actually replied <laughs> and um i wish i wish i was kidding i wish i was kidding but no he really replied he really did um there's a lot of tea that i feel like i i feel like would be too much to share with you but i want to read the first few sentences in this email because i literally i have been i have been literally so i have been literally uh, going insane ever since I saw it and that was like three that was like two weeks oh my god <laughs> I'm sorry that looks that looked like a bee <laughs> oh my god oh. <laughs> mama <laughs> anyway I want to read to you first few sentences uh. hello this is JTBC Sobokyun. I'm sending you an email in Korean after thinking whether to write in English or Korean. I thought you would understand Korean whilst when I saw you using Korean in the video you sent me. <laughs> Moreover, I decided that Korean is better to write an email from the heart. I checked the email you sent me after watching the video you sent me through the email. I'm sorry that I couldn't answer you 
early even though you've already emailed me twice <laughs> in fact a lot of people are sending me emails of support and encouragement but i can't reply to them one by one however i was so moved by the video that i couldn't help but reply i'm literally fangirling right now <laughs> this is too much this is too much i'm i'm uh <laughs> it's amazing that you watched us enthusiastically even though you weren't in the even though you were a foreigner and thank you for listening to the closing songs i chose the closing song on may 4 to comfort those who are tired of their daily lives including the coronavirus first of all thank you for not free and thank you for not forgetting the first anniversary and sending me an email. As you know, I just got off the newsroom and back to the coverage. Now, as a reporter, I'll think about what good news is. Oh, wait, no. Uh, wait, where was that? I, once again, thank you for your support from far away. I won't forget that even if I grow old. And I will greet you again through the news in the near future. Thank you. I wish you a happy, happy day. P.S. <laughs> this is so funny. P.S. I am sending you an email in Korea, but I'm worried that it might be difficult for you to understand. Please, I hope that my thoughts are conveyed well. June 27, 2021, JTBC, Sobokin. <laughs> I read that. I read the full link. That was just like a portion of the email. Because there was just too much that I feel like you wouldn't understand, especially. I mean. The, the world of journalism is hard. <laughs> I think you all know that, but man, there's just so much tea in this that I prefer just keeping it to myself and a couple of friends that actually stand news with me. Um, but now that I think about it, I never even expected to reply uh, for, for him to reply in the first place. Because... That was such a distant thought to me. That was such a distant thought. And I just thought to myself, it was not gonna happen. I just fully accepted it. With the fact that, nah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna reply. What am I even doing? I'm just gonna send, that's it. No more. And... I literally cried when I saw it, when I saw his name beside me. Then there's comma and his name in Korean. And then the first few lines that said, hello, this is JTBC Sobokyun. And I'm like, is it really him? <laughs> so, um, before, before we actually go through the... Before we actually go through this, uh, the set list, actually, I haven't, I haven't prepared one, so to speak. I haven't prepared one because I like for it to go with the flow, to say the least. But I hope that, um, I hope that it will be somehow uh it will be somehow awkward to say the least why am i saying that so much <laughs> and you have to remember y'all i'm not good at guitar and that i might possibly tease some really important stuff for, uh, that i will be releasing in the near future 
wait a minute. Let me get that. Uh, let me get my guitar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I think we should play the... There we go. Thank you so much for the free listeners that are here right now. I hope you're enjoying. Um, so bad. I don't have a capo. I don't have a capo. Um, I don't. I don't really know basic core. I don't really know power chord so I'm just sticking to the basic ones um okay um wait it's done <laughs> is it done okay um so this first song is called Unsaid feelings. <laughs> oh my god, I ate this I ate this chair. <laughs> and said feeling.
too I wish you would somehow Cause you're holding someone's arm So that was um, Unsaid Feelings from my first album, Homecoming Kisses. That was actually, that was actually like the lead single, I think. But I never really promoted that much because I was too lazy. Um, well, even if the music, even if the audio is bad, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I don't really have the money to actually afford some good musical equipment per se. I don't even have my own guitar. This is our family's guitar. It's too big. It's really big. <laughs> um, too bad. I was actually gonna play something you'll never know, but I don't have a capo. I have a capo. I don't even know power chords. But I think I... I'm not sure. I should have the instrumental. But it's in the... Uh, it's. I think it's in the other laptop. It's not here. But I do remember having the front... I remember having oh hey i have i have float i have the original float um so should i sing that um so float was actually the english version of lutang so there are actually two versions Lutang is the original one, the original version, and um, Float is the English one. But why, why am I suddenly performing? Why am I suddenly performing every single track from Homecoming Kisses? No, let's not do that. Um, I really want to play a lot of songs, but it's too bad that I can't because there's no capo. I can't. Maybe I can try, <laughs> like with, uh, maybe I can try, um, improvising a couple with a pen and some rubber bands. I remember having some, may have thrown it out, but yeah, I remember having them. I'm not sure now, but I have them. Oh, hey, I have one. <laughs> so, I want to try improvising for once. To the two listeners that are still here right now, thank you so much. I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying this messy session. <laughs> this messy session, I wish. Oh, 
<laughs> oh wow. <laughs> the sound is so terrible. The sound is so terrible. Oh my god. I'm gonna try. I'm I, I'm still gonna try. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. Hey, um, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for a lot of the inconvenience that's happening right now. It it just it 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 is proof that I didn't prepare. <laughs> This alone is proof that I didn't really prepare anything. <laughs> but then again, I don't... Huh? Why does it sound like... Oh, it's... reason it works but it's rattling <laughs> somehow it works but it's rattling what is happening like the rattling sound scares me I don't know uh, it's not really scary but it's bothering me to say the least see hear that i don't know how to improvise a couple but there was uh something That is so off. Uh, anyway, uh, let's. I I don't think we should uh, put this on. I don't think we should do the cap improvised capo thingy. I don't even know how to do it, even if I have the materials to actually do it. But anyway, um, this second song is on uh. I think I haven't told you the story of Unsaid. Actually, Unsaid was one of our projects for a subject when I was in ninth grade and we had to compose a song. That song was Unsaid. This next song was another composition. But this time, it was from a different person. Somebody, someone else wrote the lyrics and they asked me they asked me to compose the song since they don't know how to play instruments and we were done with Unsaid so I had time and I I love the lyrics of this song it's so dreamy and it talks about like one thing to like get your love or something but yeah this song is titled like you as long as you love me you make me feel crazy but after you leave me i cry for you baby the way i do try to find someone but I realize what's true There's no honey else like you One day we met You're the one I can't forget The guilty rise And I don't know why As they spark shining Felt my heart like flying If you
feel crazy But after you leave me I cry for you, baby, the way I do <laughs> Try to find someone new But I realize what's true There's no fun There's no funny else like Why do I feel so exhausted after that? Ah! <laughs> and anyway, thank you so much for the people who are currently listening to me right now. Um, thank you. <laughs> Even if more people are in the karaoke room one chat, I feel bad, but hey. <laughs> I feel bad for like scheduling it early, but then again, this is a special episode. Uh, this is a special episode of Me the Reese Midnight Sessions. And I am singing my own songs. Maybe covers. I'll try to like keep track of the set list. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was my mic. That was my mic. I'm sorry. Um, and Seth... Seth was first, and then like he was second. Um, what should I... I mean... You know, I'm not just gonna sing my own songs. I have to sing something else. What should we do? I don't really know. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. <laughs> I really... It's not that I really hate it, but... I like... Seeing other songs more than I... Like singing my songs. Why are you doing this on YouTube? Are you happy now? Pause it. <laughs> anyway, um, oh shit, I'm I'm in a different account. Name it. I I really want to thank you guys for. Sticking by. Because I know... It feels awkward. And I feel bad because... I feel bad because I... I have been singing... I have been singing my own songs for like three years now. No, actually five years no six years roughly uh it feels i always feel happy when there are people listening to my songs because after all <laughs> you're not a musician if you're not happy with um you're not happy with 
It just feels so awkward and I, I kind of feel bad for myself. Because I have always wanted people to listen to my songs. Um, I'm not really... I'm not really someone who promotes a lot. I'm kind of like Yoon Jong Shin because he barely promotes his stuff. He barely does. He barely does. Uh, especially with his uh, monthly monthly project. Yeah. Monthly song project. That one was barely promoted. And you know one of the most famous songs from there was barely promoted. Like it. So I'm kind of going, I'm kind of thinking of the same way as well. I'll just have it pitched to the new Music Friday thingy, and that's it. <laughs> Should I sing another song? Um, I feel so bad for having only like three listeners here. Cause I... I feel bad, at least, but then again, at least people are listening. <laughs> at least people are listening. So yeah, um, I think we should, I think we should, uh, do the next song. What? Um, uh, well, I... For some reason, I want to sing this. Ah! <laughs> For some reason, I want to sing this song. Um, I had to make this one on a whim. And the song, the song itself is really sad. So, I didn't really have a title for this specific track. I just went on with the chorus. The first line of the chorus. Um, so, this was... What number exactly in the album? Uh, I think this was number... Nine? This was number 9, track number 9 in the album, Homecoming Kisses, my first album that I want to remaster so bad. I want to re-record, per se. I think it was number 7 or number 9. I'm not sure. I, I, I have... I forget. Oh, it's number 4. <laughs> It's number four, I'm surprised. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah! I hate this guitar. It's so big. I hate it. Um, anyway, this is called But I Love You.
attention seeker at this point ah, um anyway should i end <laughs> i'm just kidding i won't end uh we'll have like at least 11 so we are approaching the first hour i've only sang three songs and it's already 9 45 what the hell oh yeah <laughs> of the songs that I just sang were from the album Homecoming Kisses. Speaking of Homecoming Kisses, too bad I can't play that one either. Um, <laughs> too bad I can't play that one either because I wanted to play for you guys live. But I think you're gonna have to suffice with uh pre-recorded tracks <laughs> anyway um my next song actually this is one of this is one of my favorite from the homecoming kisses album the other was like you that i just sang a few moments ago um this next song is number eight in the uh homecoming kisses album uh I wrote this when I was like at the point where trigger warning I was considering uh should I say this should I say this y'all should I say this um I I wrote this when I was like at the lowest point of my life I'll just say that um but once you hear this song this will I think this will be somehow comforting for you I mean the title of this special episode is called the song for you so yeah and I by the way I hate listening to my voice um so I'm gonna play it through groovy I hope you enjoy. This is Cold Nooses. Life 
life is so beautiful I'm trying to slip away In the darkness holding on to you Be the light shining on Oh dear, do not be sorry, I Want you to remember There are people waiting on to you To get through the night with you Oh, don't you dare be someone Who runs away so easily From the depths of despair I'll be reaching out with my head towards you I hope you hold on to the hope that I'll be here for you No matter what happens Take everything away and I'll be here Don't you dare be someone who runs away so easily That's a despair Reaching out with my hands towards you I hope you hold on to the hope that I'll be here for you No matter what happens Take everything away and I'll be here No matter what happens Take everything away and I'll be here Don't you dare be someone Run so away so easily from the depths of despair. I'll be reaching out with my hand toward you. I hope you hold on to the home that I'll be here for you. No matter what happens, take everything away and I'll be here. No matter what happens, I'll stay with you. And I'll be here. Lose this up above my head. Wait for my last breath.
Sorry. Um, but yeah, that was... Oh my god, I didn't record it. Anyway, um, thank you so much for those who just listened. So Pasko Malamig was something that was created during Christmas because it the English translation is literally called Christmas. And I wanted to reflect on how Christmases are Christmases. Are getting bleaker as years go by and as we grow older and that's how uh Pascal Malamig came to be there are actually quite a lot of references to Filipino tradition that we do na mamas ko po when uh, it's called caroling when someone uh, does some caroling in your with uh when someone does caroling within uh you go house to house and you sing songs Christmas songs that's how Namamas Popo came to be and Noche Buena is like a big feast that we prepare the eve uh on christmas eve and eat like at 12 midnight on christmas day so yeah that's how that's how there are a lot of references i i kind of suggest you look it up because there are a lot of things that i think you would not understand because I would keep blabbering about it. Um, so I said before we should sing some. Uh, we should sing some. What do you call this? We should sing some stuff that's not ours. <laughs> Wow, why is it lagging? <laughs> why is it lagging so much? I hate this so much. Uh, <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate that it lags. Anyway, I've chosen a song. We're gonna play it. On this chat I hope you're got I hope you guys are Why is it? Oh, I hate this. It's lagging so much. But yeah, I kind of wanted to sing this song for you all. It's a really amazing song. And I wanted you guys to hear it. It's called When My Loneliness Calls Me.
Wait, why am I hearing anything? <laughs> Why am I not he why am I not hearing anything? Is it just me? Am I not really in Am I not really? Wait for Wait, can I clear? I really can't hear anything. Why? Why is this happening? <laughs> this is so weird! I've never tried this before. This this literally puts me off. This is for real now. This call when my loneliness calls me. Chat 
<laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was that was uh, when my loneliness calls me. Surprisingly, that that was so good. That was so good. Uh, that song. That song was... The song is kind of a mood right now. <laughs> well, what should I sing next? I feel like I have a next... I have a candidate. Uh... Where was that? Where was that? Um... I want to sing this song. It's- it's an old- it's a little bit old. But it's song- people song- sang this a lot. In karaoke. It's like one of the most popular karaoke songs. It's a go-to. It must be sung when you are in the karaoke room in South Korea. Um, let me find that. There we go. <sighs> Okay, I found it. Uh, so this is called No 
Mosogi, me Mosogi. Nega pido hatado. Kuma. Sapange na kanu mionso. Nega boda yo dato. Nega. Bukoshi. No, 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 no. Nabu bomyo. No, no, chi. Sadange. Dabu nibum. Abu nibum. Dugosu. Algo inun yago. Yo chisa iya. We no dale go. Nibu. ガチマガチと始まったまほんじゃそうでねよそちさらんだぬまうむぶどガチすんでさらみそなぶわいだけよていそののたち Mokajana I can't have you. Bye bang. Uh, if you're in a karaoke, you should sing that once. At least once. Because <laughs> it's so popular. It's, it's really popular. Like, I think every, every single South Korean has sang that once. <laughs> They they must have sang it once. Uh Okay, so here comes the next song. At least I can plan for this. <laughs> so it's one of uh Kim Bom Su's most popular songs. It's called Last Love. Sara, 
到了结束，忘了很感激。Good day, money, you are my honey. Oh, 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 oh. 잘못했었다면그곁에머무기수호했을까요사랑에돌아다는말말구한다는말고슴치던나였지만그래오직그대 내그 사랑 지금부터 나그 이름으로 살아도 그대만이 원한 내 사랑 다시는 사랑을 못할 것 같아요 그대가 아니 Last of by Kim Bom Su. I think we should. I think we should go back to our songs. <laughs> I wish I had like the backing tracks of my songs so I could just sing them over. Um, I don't want to sing covers anymore. Uh. I'm sorry if this was, if things didn't go according to plan. I really wanted it to go according to plan, but uh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. I'm just kidding. Um, it's it's humbling to me to hear people listen to my songs, and thank you so much for that. Even if you guys just want to hear me sing, thank you. Um, and if you're here because of me and my songs, thank you as well. Um, I want to sing this. Wait, is... Is the remastered one better? Um, so I think you might have noticed that this was the 2020 version. Um, okay, um, I'm excited for you guys to hear this. The song is the 2020 version of the title track. Not in Korean terms, but a title track from the album of the same name. This is called Homecoming Kisses. I want to come home to this Homesick from your love Everything I'll do To be near you I still head in hand I 
Take you wherever you want Forever in a land in Eden Treasure every moment Before it comes to an end I'll see you then I want to come home to your kisses Homesick from your love Everything I'll do To be near you Lots of lullabies Read me bedtime stories Let as the sun starts to shine And I'll be your happy veil I want to come home to your kisses Homesick from your love Everything I'll do to be near you I want to come home to your kisses Sick from your love Everything I'll do To be near you I want to come home 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 Give me your homecoming kisses Now that I heard it for the first time, I'm actually surprised how well it turned out. Wow! The backing track was so good, I can hear it clearly. Unlike on my old releases, um... So I sang that unsaid and something you'll never know to an alumni concert of sorts. Too bad the, the something you'll never know and unsaid one were deleted. But I had I did have the Homecoming Kisses remix in the bag, I guess. Not really in the bag, but it it was there, <laughs> I guess. Um Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you so much for listening. There are some things that you might have never heard of, like But I Love You and Nooses and Pasco Malaming. Although they were older releases. Um, this is actually one of my, one of my, not really one of my first songs, but my actual first song. That I composed. Uh, this was like in 8th grade. I composed this when I was in 8th grade. And back then, I was only learning to play guitar. I learned guitar at pretty much a late age. And I still know basic chords. I'm 20 now. Shut up, will you? Okay, uh, I'll play now. Play now. This this is called uh oh yeah. This is called kung pwede lang if only. <laughs> excuse me, I'll shut up. Oh, 
So yep, that was uh that was Kumpadela. That was one of my first songs that I composed when I was in eighth grade. I try to remember how it went through, uh how it went, but I can only remember the chorus and the tune. So that was how it that was how I basically uh that was how I basically made it. I just made new lyrics. That was it. That was how Kumpwede lang uh came to me. Wow, we've been here like almost for two hours. 
What? It's been uh over an hour and thirty minutes. I've only sang such a few songs, but thank you so much for listening. I think we'll end it here, cause I'm pretty much exhausted from all the fangirling. <laughs> I'm pretty much exhausted, but anyway, thank you so much for listening on this week's Be the Reese Midnight Sessions. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye!